wrong in saying that the Obama administration surveilled the Trump transition team. I would say you're, from all I know, you're at least 99.5% accurate and probably 100%. That's a huge, huge story. It is that's absolutely. It's a big story. I hope the media gives it the, the, the well. The, you're not going to you're gonna have on the. Well, on that's the, up to you. Yeah. It's up on to the you, hate, Bill. on the hate Trump side, they're going to try to spin it. And, and again, we point out that Russia is not involved here, according to Congressman Nunez. And there's no mm-hmm. Russian. Thing nothing here. involving Russia. Nothing involving anything criminal. So nobody in the uh, Trump organization was being accused of anything. Right. These are just conversations that were picked up. No. And a, a very negative view of America came into being and. In, People, America was in need of moral authority to to function as a legitimate society. Right. And uh, this is where we evolved the liberalism that that we still have today, which gives us a cover against that shame, a way to function in America and be, in a sense, above shameful America. Uh, thus, the sort of note of superiority in in today's right. liberalism, the sort of moral superiority. We are we are the good. And uh, regular, everyday Americans uh, are still associated with that evil past and cannot be trusted. Uh, this, I think, has a lot to do with the, the vitriol uh, in regard to uh, Donald Trump. Yes. So you say a lot of this turns on the question of white guilt, but it's not what you think it is. You say this. White guilt is not guilt over injustices suffered by others. It's the terror of being stigmatized with America's old biggest trees, racism, sexism, homophobia, xenophobia. To be stigmatized with any of these is to be utterly stripped of moral authority and made into a pariah. That's what this is about. Yes. Uh, and that problem of the, that was what was new in the 60s, is that other groups, outside groups, uh, blacks, uh, women, had the ability to stigmatize America as a racist, a sexist society. Right. Enormous power in, in that in, in stigmatization. It is the primary power that I think liberalism has exercised over uh, the last 50, 60 years. It, it can stigmatize you. If you do anything, if political correctness is an outgrowth of this, if you do anything to violate that, that uh, what they consider to be the good, uh, then you are, in a, you are in effect ruined. You are isolated. You are marginalized. Right. Uh, this is what we, again, see on campuses today, of pushing, of, of muscling people aside. There's no reasoning. It's all muscling, moral muscling. So I'm reading your piece, and I'm thinking, this doesn't sound like politics as I understand it, a debate over issues. This sounds like religion. This sounds like theology. This is a spiritual battle, at least, that one side is yes, waging. Yes, exactly. Um, yes, it, it, liberalism is not an ideology. It is an identity. Uh, people who think of themselves as literal as as liberals uh, really are ad- adhering to an identity, uh, to the idea of my of my personal self. I am the kind of person who is above racism, who is above sexism. And if you take that position there that I don't like, then you are challenging not just my ideas, but you're challenging me as a human right. being uh, with a with a particular identity and. That is why the, the passions, the, the, uh, the ferocity of, of the left to, that we see today in the streets and elsewhere. There's really no debating people on the basis of that, because you're not really no, talking about ideas no. or policies. No, there's no, uh, there's, a, there's a complete shutdown of any honest intellectual exchange, uh, because you are not threatening my ideas, you are threatening me. And I don't, I don't have the, the patience to be reasonable and argue with you on the, on the basis of reason. Yeah. I need to literally extinguish or annihilate you and your position. You see the, 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 the anti-Trump sentiment in many ways. Yeah. Annihilate him. There is nothing redeeming in this man. Right. Uh, and so forth. Well, you're seeing that. Uh, and because it's, liberalism is an identity. Shelby Steele, one of the smartest pieces I've read in a long time. Thanks a lot for coming on tonight. Well, thanks for having me.